everyone. In this video, I'd like to discuss uh, something interesting, and that's the topic of whether or not uh, Ferdowsi is the reason for the survival of the Persian language and uh, the survival of the Persian culture after the Arab conquest. Now, many contemporary Iranian nationalists believe in this myth that Ferdowsi was the single man who saved the Persian language and Persian culture and allowed for the per preservation of the Persian tradition even though this is not the case and in this video I'll explore why this is not the case and why this is a myth which is very dangerous it's a wrong myth you know one man did not have an impact upon saving the entire Persian culture and civilization Ferdowsi was one of the greatest Persian literary, literary figures perhaps the greatest you know his epic is one of the greatest works the Shahnameh Ameh is amazing but nonetheless he is not the reason for the preservation of the Persian culture and the Persian tradition as well as the Persian language all of that can be attributed to the dynasties of the Iranian intermezzo period and these dynasties emerged prior prior to the birth of Ferdowsi and the most notable of these dynasties were the Samanids. Ferdowsi himself were, was born in the Samanid Empire and he was born into a world where Persian was largely spoken and therefore for individuals to credit Ferdowsi as the single individual who saved the Iranian civilization and the Persian language is quite frankly not true. Ferdowsi was from Tus which was a city in North uh, Eastern Iran uh, and uh, Ferdowsi's birthplace was uh, likely mm, within the confines of the urban center of the city but nonetheless Ferdowsi was born uh, into a world which uh, was largely Persian speaking it was not Arab dominated he was born in the Samanid Empire which was one of the largest Persianid empires of the time and one of the most influential and it was actually the Samanids who can be uh, attributed the most credit to when it comes to the preservation of the Persian language and the Persian cultural tradition because the Samanids truly were epitomized Persianate culture during the uh, post-Islamic period in Iran and that's essentially my main point here. Ferdowsi was just a product of this Samanid tradition. Later on he would compose his uh, Shah Nami for the Ghaznavids but nonetheless the Ghaznavids heavily borrowed much of their uh, intellectual uh, apparatus and intelligentsia from the uh, previous Samanid dynasty and even their court was based on Samanid uh, motifs so nonetheless despite all of this Ferdowsi did not save the Persian language or the Persian tradition all of that can be attributed to the dynasties of the Iranian intermezzo period most notable of which were the Samanids now the first major of these Iranian intermezzo dynasties were the Tahirids which emerged in 821 and lasted until 873 and the Tahirids were a Persian dynasty which ruled over parts of uh, the well ruled over the northeastern part of greater Iran primarily composed of uh, Afghanistan, Tajikistan and what is today Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. They did not really preside over western parts of contemporary Iran but nonetheless they were a very formidable dynasty and they were the first major independent dynasty and the Tahirids uh, essentially were the first major independent Iranian uh, dynasty after the arrival of the Arabs and they emerged in 821. Keep in mind that Iran was largely conquered by around 800 and uh, rather 651 and the Tahirid dynasty emerged in 821 which shows that Iran was not even occupied by the Arabs for 200 years you know Iran Arab occupation of Iran roughly ended with the emergence of the Tahirid dynasty under Tahir ibn Hussein and they were the first major Persianate dynasty even though Arabic was the former language of the language of literature and poetry nonetheless the Tahirids were the first native dynasty to emerge in Iran after the uh, collapse of the Abbasid Caliphate and the dis rather not collapse as it did not completely collapse but it did disintegrate and that's essentially what happened the Tahirids were the first of these major dynasties but they were not the most important the most important the two most important dynasties of the Iranian intermezzo period were the Samanids and the Buyids the Samanid Empire effectively emerged as a major power in 875 though they had their roots in 819 and their emergence 
allowed for the spread of Persian culture and the revival of Persian culture. The Samanids revived Persian more than the Buyids and the Safarids and the other dynasties. The Safarids were another major dynasty. However, they did not uh, do much for the Persian language or literary tradition as they did the Samanids did. And the Samanids are the single reason for the survival of the Iranian literary tradition, specifically the Persian literary tradition. And they did this because they were mostly uh, of uh, native uh, Zoroastrian descent. Uh, they descended from Saman Huda, who himself uh, claimed descent from Baram Chobin, which is interesting, but nonetheless, I won't get into it. But I will say that the Samanids are the single reason for the survival of the Persian language and Persian literary tradition in Iran following the collapse of the, rather not collapse, but disintegration of the Abbasid Caliphate and rise of uh, these Iranian intermezzo dynasties. You know, their most uh, notable um, uh, ruler was Ismail ibn Ahmad, or also known as Ismail Samani, and he was the most notable Samanid ruler. But nonetheless, the Samanids were one of the greatest powers to emerge in Iran, and uh, you know, they really, really did a lot for Iran. and allowed for the preservation of the Iranian culture and civilization as well as the Iranian literary tradition. Their most notable famous uh, addict was uh, declared when they declared that here in this region the language is Persian and the kings of this realm are Persian kings. This essentially uh, was an open declaration that this was a Persian realm that Arabic was very much not an important part of this realm and that Persian was the primary language and this is essentially what they did. The Buyids also played a major role in the revival of the Persian tradition but not as much as the Samanids did. The Buyids were of Dalamite descent and they were the first major Iranian uh, dynasty since the collapse of the Sassanid uh, dynasty to use the title Shahan Shah which was of Sassanid origin and they previously had been even used by the Achaemenids and the Parthians but nonetheless the title Shahanshah was used by the uh, Buyids after the uh, collapse of the uh, Sassanid dynasty and it was used by Adad Adola who was Adud Adola who was the most major Buyid ruler and he did promote a great deal of Persian culture and civilization but nonetheless despite all of this the Buyids were not uh, the main players as they still promoted Arabic but the Samanid realm they barely promoted Arabic. Arabic was largely restricted to the religious aspects and even then they had even uh, I think uh, the Quran was also translated into Persian so the Samanids were definitely a dynasty which worked hard to promote a Persianate version of Islam and not only a Persianate version of Islam but Persian culture, language and civilization and this is why they were the most notable dynasty to emerge from this period and this is why Ferdowsi cannot be credited for the preservation of the Iranian cultural, uh, rather preservation of the Persian language and the Iranian cultural tradition because one man cannot be responsible for this. All of this can be largely attributed to two dynasties, the Samanids and the Buyids, and most of that can be attributed to the Samanids who emerged long before the birth of Ferdowsi and they were the most notable Iranian dynasty. So yeah, that's essentially it for this video. There's nothing else I have to say. Another thing I just wanted to note here at the end here and that is that Ferdowsi himself was born in the um, Samanid Empire though by the time he died the Ghaznavids had replaced the Samanids and he did write his famous Shahnameh for Mahmud Ghaznavi who was the ruler obviously of the Ghaznavids at the time of uh, Ferdowsi's death but nonetheless the the point stands and that is that had the Samanids not existed there likely would never have been a Ferdowsi you know it's not the other way around you know Iranian cultural traditions did not survive because of Ferdowsi rather Ferdowsi was a product of the Samanid uh, cultural tradition and that's why he preserved uh, the Iranian language because he emerged during a time where the Iranian language was already, the rather not Iranian, sorry again, not using a script, the Persian language was already widespread and was used among the elites and essentially even among the commoners as well and this is why Ferdowsi emerged and this is why Ferdowsi was able to uh, easily write his Shah Nami. you know he didn't operate under Arab rule, he operated under Turkic rule but most of his life he lived during the Samanid era 
and essentially that's pretty much it. If uh, the Samanids did not emerge, there would not be a Ferdowsi and there would not be a Shah Lami is what I'm getting at. That's pretty much it for my message uh, for Iranian nationalists and aside from that I really have nothing to say. I think Iranian nationalists should uh, not uh, view Ferdowsi as a figure who saved Persian language and the cultural tradition because it makes them look foolish but rather they should view Ferdowsi as a product of the Samanid era, a dynasty which uh, is solely responsible, largely solely responsible for the preservation of Persian culture, civilization and had it not been for the Samanids perhaps um, the Persian language would not have survived and would have largely been replaced by Turkic or Arabic you know. You never know how history would have played out if it was not for the Samanids. But yeah, that's essentially it for this video. Sorry again, I'm not using a script and my voice is a bit weak because obviously I've been through a lot recently and I'm just getting over that now. So yeah, thank you and take care and please like, share and subscribe to my channel.